What's going on everyone? This is Brian from Cruise Travelers and we're going to talk today about Cheers Beverage Program. Is it right for you? Let's get started right now. Hey guys, thanks for sticking with us. Once again, this is Brian from Cruise Travelers. We're going to go over this Cheers beverage program that I've been hearing so much about and see if this is right for you. So tag along and here we go. Now this particular program, Carnival started testing out in late 2012 and people really seem to enjoy it. They love the fact that they have somewhat of unlimited drinks throughout their cruise. Some of the things that we're going to go over here is the good and the bad of this type of program. Who should be purchasing it? What is included in it? What's not included in it? Some of the restrictions, how much it costs, how to get a discount when purchasing it, and what the 18% gratuity that's tacked on top of the cost of the actual program. Now, before we dive in, I want to make sure that you guys reach out and click that subscribe button, tick that little bell up there so you get notified every time we post a video. And don't forget to click the like button as well. We're going to start posting several videos for you from an informative aspect of what you need to know about cruising, the inside and the out of cruising. So definitely click that subscribe button and that like button and come along with us in this journey. Now with this particular program, it's designed to allow you to pay one upfront cost to cover up to 15 drinks in any 24 hour period. Some of the good and some of the bad of this particular program is, the good is, is that you pay one upfront cost and you get up to 15 drinks every single 24 hours. And uh, that includes a lot of drinks. All you have to do is show your sell and sign card and they bring you a drink. The bad side of that is you have to pay quite a bit up front. And boy, does it hurt to put that money out when you've just paid for the cruise. Now let's talk about who should be purchasing it. Now, there's been a lot of controversy around <clears throat> who really benefits from this program. And I believe most anyone can benefit from the program that is over the age of 21, that enjoys energy drinks, that enjoys coffees, that enjoys alcoholic drinks, non-alcoholic drinks. It's really a great package for almost anyone. Now, if you're expecting to just have a couple drinks on board, maybe a couple glasses of wine, you really don't drink coffee, nor the energy drinks, this is probably not the beverage package for you. You could purchase those outright and come far ahead of what this beverage package would provide. Now, the type of person that this program is good for is those of you that love to sit by the pool throughout the day, have drinks brought to you, not have to worry about uh, purchasing them outright, wondering what your bill's going to be at the end of your cruise. This is really a great way to just sort of relax enjoy your drinks, grab a coffee, grab an energy drink. You could also take 25% off bottles of wine at your dining room tables. This is a great way to just relax and enjoy having a couple of adult beverages or your coffees or your energy drinks. So if you enjoy doing that and just want to take a load off, this is definitely the package for you. Now let's talk about what is included in the beverage package. All of your spirits, including cocktails, cognacs, whiskeys, and other spirits, as well as beer and wine and champagne by the glass, but it cannot be over $20. As for your non-alcoholic beverages on this particular beverage package, obviously your sodas, your zero-proof cocktails like your virgin daiquiris, your virgin pina coladas, all of your juices, your specialty coffees, hot teas served in the dining room, coffee bars, milkshakes, Rockstar energy drinks, Powerade, vitamin water, coconut water, teas, bottled water. It is all included in this particular package. 
Now let's talk a little bit about what is excluded from this particular program. The beverages promoted and sold in your souvenir glasses, you'll see a lot of them coming around the pools. Those are not included. They're gonna to try to push them on you, but they are not included. Bottles of liquor are not included, beverages offered on the gangway, beverages offered through the room service, mini bars and other stateroom beverage programs, sharing cocktails, floaters, pitchers, tubes, and buckets. Those are not included. You can't add a floater and expect that to be a part of the program. Beverages offered through enomatic wine machines, which some boats have it, some don't. Freshly squeezed orange juice served in the Havana bar. I tried that, didn't work out very well. All other beverage related programs, including merchandise, cigars, cigarettes, and food items are not included in this particular program. I know we're going to have to go over the not so fun part on the fun ship, but there are some restrictions that apply. You have to be 21 years old to purchase it. Um, it is double occupancy. If you want to purchase it, then you have to purchase one for your wife or vice versa. And the guests must purchase the program for the entire cruise. You can't just purchase it for a couple days and they sell it by the day. So seven day cruise, um, it costs for seven days to have it. There's really no price adjustments and you can only get one drink per order. You can't go up to the bar and get six drinks and bring your friends all drinks. Um, there is a five minute wait limit between orders of the drinks. Now this program allows for you to have up to 15 drinks. Now when it comes to your non-alcoholic drinks like your virgin daiquiris, your virgin pina coladas, let's say your coffees and also your energy drinks, those do not count towards your 15. So you can have 15 alcoholic drinks and still have additional drinks as well as long as they're non-alcoholic or those coffees or the energy drinks. Now let's talk a little bit about the most important part, which is the cost of the beverage package on Carnival Cruise. Now it really depends on the cruise duration. And as I just said before, you purchase it for every day you're on the cruise. You can't purchase it just for one day or two days. It has to be for the entire cruise. And the cost of the beverage package is $56.95 per day. But don't forget what they do is they add an 18% gratuity on top of that. So let's say that we have a seven day cruise going out of uh, New Orleans and it's $56.95 per day. So we're looking at about $470.41 with the gratuity included. That's right. It's going to be $470 per person for a seven day cruise. Now, if you're looking for a little bit of a discount on this particular package, you can go online at carnival.com in their fun shops portion of the website. And there'll be a link down below. You can pre-purchase the program, which then knocks it down from $56.95 per day to $51.95 per day. So that seven day cruise, that was just $470.41. If you pre-purchase it, it then comes out to be $429.11. You just saved 50 bucks. So definitely go online after you get all signed up, pre-purchase the beverage program. You're gonna save quite a bit of money. Now, if you're taking a cruise out of the Texas or the New York home ports due to Due to some state laws, they cannot sell the cheers until the second day of the cruise, starting at 6 a.m., uh, departing from those particular ports. Drinks purchased prior to that 6 a.m. will be charged to your room. So remember, if you are going out of the Texas port, which is Galveston, or New York, you're going to be charged until the second day of that cruise at 6 a.m. And then you'll get a little sticker they'll put on your card that says, hey, I have the beverage package and I want my free drinks now. So that's it guys. That is the good and the bad of the beverage package on board Carnival Cruise Lines. We went over who should purchase it, what's included in it, what's not included, some of the restrictions that they have, how much it costs, 
how to get a discount on it, and what that 18% gratuity is for. So um, definitely check out the program. We get it every single time, and it's an amazing deal. So definitely check it out. Now, if you want to save 10% on any one of your cruises, uh, we have a method to be able to save 10%. We're not affiliated with any companies. We make nothing off of it. It's just a trick that we found out that takes 10% right off of any cruise with either Carnival or Royal Caribbean. I'm going to post a link at the end of this video that shows you and walks you through how to complete that process. It's no gimmicks. You don't have to put a credit card down. Just watch the video and it'll walk you through on exactly how to save 10% on your next cruise. Well, thanks so much guys for joining us. This is Brian from Cruise Travelers and we're going to put a link above here that will take you off to the 10% discount on your cruise. Be sure to click that. Click that subscribe button. We're going to have a lot of great videos coming out for you and enjoy your cruising. Get out there, meet people and have fun. So long guys.